Greetings, you people, and hello, my king. How's it going? How's it been? This is Brad Stone, and we do welcome you back to some more Civilization V, and I'm here with Taki. Greetings. And, uh, well, currently, right now, uh, <laughs> on the last note of the last video, when I said that there was a shit sandwich, I, I, I don't mean to sound like I, um, I am not having any fun, because I am certainly having a lot of fun. It just so happens that I'm envious. I look at you over here on your peninsula, and, and I just got a unit killed. I look at you on your peninsula, and I feel like I'm just in the middle of, of like, a hailstorm, man. There's a hailstorm, and I'm in the middle of it. It's crazy. Yeah, um, Arabia just got embargoed. Did they? Everyone voted yay except for Arabia. Well, apparently everyone hates them nowadays. Wow. Nifty. Which, what, which, but what? Why did I get a unit killed? How did a unit die? Who was that anyway? Missionary was destroyed by attrition. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you have a missionary in enemy lands, they will die from attrition over time. Right. They couldn't find any, uh, any food, I take it? Nobody wanted to give him any food? Probably. I find that annoying. Yeah, they just get weaker in enemy territory, basically. That's what happens. Yeah, no. Embargo New Arabia proposal. was passed. Ban luxury silk. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go with... Oh, the world... The international games are available. Hmm. But no, not yet, not yet. No, no, no. World religion, Tangriism. Committing this one. Time to get some money so we can get even more votes to just push that one through. Even though you might not like it. <laughs> It'd be fine. And by, the, by the way, how is that spy doing that is totally not in one of my cities? Um, I, I, you know, if I had one, he's probably quite healthy at the moment. I would think. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't really know. I mean, it's, it's kind of like one of those things. If I had a spy, I would think he's doing pretty good. Hmm, okay then. If you say so. <laughs> Archaeological dig has been established. Now we're again the ally of Hong Kong. Sometimes it's actually quite useful to have a uh, spy in a city-state. And again, I could call him home and just start wrecking your area. Or, well, your spy that's totally not in my territory at all. Exactly. So why would you put a spy in your home? Nobody's stealing I anything. I don't know. Right? I do not know. No, you, what now? Sorry? Not what? yet. Not yet. You've not stolen anything yet. I would have gotten a pop-up for that one. Oh, see? 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 Nothing to worry about. For the time being. For the time being. Hermitage, seven opera houses, six universities, four workshops, five markets. I don't know. I still need quite a few buildings to get everything I want. Hmm... Ah, mm. uh, right. Because I forgot to make a museum. Ooh, that hurts. Um, do I have enough money to buy a museum? Or you can't buy a museum, though, can you? You can buy a museum, but you need to have an opera house first. And for an opera house, you need an amphitheater first. I need nine hundred and twenty gold. Ouch. Ouch. I did that out of order. Um, hmm. 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 Well, I mean, the other thing is, is I could just build a city down here. I could do that. Build a city down here. You know what? I don't have, I don't have access to these waters down here anyway. Why don't I do that? I don't have to make a decision. Well, yes, I do. I have to make a decision. So I'm going to create a landmark improvement, but I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put a city over the top of it. Very, very soon. Where is um, the landmark? It's uh, just basically almost directly in between Cardiff and Kuala Lumpur. Oh yeah, and that's actually not a bad spot for that's, another city. Yeah, no, it's actually uh, it's quite brilliant. In fact, I'm just. And you that. could use a great general to steal a lot of territory from Kuala Lumpur. I could. 
you know, city state don't declare war on you for that. They will hate you for a long time, but they don't declare war over it. All right. So I built that. There. I see a few Arabian archaeologists eyeing to get into my country. Then I'm not gonna let them get in. I am such a. I am such a. Mm. I can't I can't stand roads when they do that little weird curly cue thing. So yeah. I'm actually gonna spend my time to make another road off to the side of it so I can, you know, get rid of this one road so it, it does this loop around thing instead of like being on it. Drives me nuts. Yeah, I usually try to make roads as clean as possible, but sometimes I just won't be able to do that. Yeah. It's a weird thing. One could call it OCD. No, don't get me started on that OCD stuff. OCD. I don't want to go with this. I'll go over there. Just do nothing this turn. Just wait. Just wait it out. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Peace treaty expired. Between me and who? Oh, with Pakal, yeah. Well, I don't think he's going to ride up my ass, is he? Of course not. Why would he do that? So, what do the city-states have to say? Uh, let's see. City-state Budapest gave me new units. Um, Cape Town, different quest. Belgrade gave me a new unit. Ormus looks for the most faith, and Kabul is impressed with my culture. Which means I'm producing the most culture in the world. Wow. Nice going, sir. Also, did I just get another? Thank I think you. I got another Gatlin gun. Just gifted to me. Oh, Budapest. This is cool. Buda, Buda. They just gave me Comanche riders. That's pretty nice. What do they do so exactly? The, uh, I don't think I've ever come in contact um, with them. Did they just show a special unit that move faster than reg than normal? Oh. Oh, wow. I just moved that worker out for no reason. Whatever. In enemy territory, there is attrition. Okay, so let me just keep that in mind. Why not go into enemy territory like I Yeah, at least with a missionary, not with, uh, not with the prophets. I just think that they would actually get some food, you know? Somebody's got to give them food. They're missionaries! How do you not feed a missionary? No idea. Like, I'm not I mean, even close just, to be... Go ahead. They could be foraging. Oh, well, I know, right? There's berries. Obviously, your god would, you know, help you find berries. They have that in a textbook, I'm sure, somewhere. Would expect that, yeah. Wait, I didn't put a road there? I didn't put a road right there? I didn't put a road there? You forgot to connect one of your cities? Um, yeah. Well, that was probably Pakal again. We just built the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, well... I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm surprised. Because, yeah. I'm not even remo I'm remotely surprised. I'm not surprised either. I'm definitely not surprised, but there's good news. I just discovered dynamite, which allows me to construct hmm. artillery. Good news, everyone. If uh, Bacall goes to war with me, I might not die. Is that is that okay? Good news for me, right? That, that, is that that's what you meant to say, right? Because you have artillery, and that's and that's a deterrent for him to want to go to war with me. I'm, I'm probably thinking. <laughs> That's not what I was saying, but okay. Oh, wow. I should have moved them... Oh, I should have saved myself some gold. I should have moved them into town first. And then mm. upgraded. Because now I can't move them after I upgrade. I'm going to need more museums if I ever want to get more uh, stuff. Because I'm actually filling them up quite fast now. Wow. Oh, almost 300 culture per turn. Yeah, yeah. Rub it in. Rub it it's in. going quite fast. 
It's fine. I don't even mind. But how much do you need for your next social policy? I need quite a lot. Well, what is a lot? Um, I say another... Well, it's going to be over a thousand. Thousand three hundred, so thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred? No. In total? Well, in total. Yeah, thirteen hundred. So you're... You need... No. I mean, in total, with including what you already have. Oh, I need 1940. 1, yeah, I need 41.45, so I need more than double yours. Um, where mm. am I going to go with this, I wonder? Biology. There could be oil up here. Is there oil to the north of Dublin? Do you know? Dublin... No, there, yeah, there's oil to the northeast of Dublin. North in the, in the water. Okay. Yeah. Basically, you see the tile of fish to the east of Dublin? Um, yep. The tile left of it is oil. Okay, excellent. So it's going to be, well, right in within grasp pretty soon. I can actually buy that if yeah. I wanted to. And there's also two sources of oil, and three sources of oil near Nantes. Nantes. So there's that. <laughs> Look at this. this. This road, man, is ridiculous. All right, let's get rid of that. Yeah, that... roads can be a little bit um, weird. Oh my god. Why would it do that? Okay. I don't even know why it would do that. What is that? Why is that a thing? That's well, obviously actually a finished service oh, there it Maximus. Is. Ah, it feels better. Oh. I actually built it. You built the Circus Maximus. You finally got her done, eh? Yeah, it's actually built. Good. And despite all the city expansions that I was doing, it's got built. Very good, then. There are only 12 antiquity sites left over. I'm seeing two in my near my own territory. And one more here that I'm already working. That is actually one turn away from finishing. Is there no way out of this North Sea? This North Sea, mm -hmm. I think, is, is locked. The only way out is through my cities. Well, I can't get... Yeah. So, no, this is actually completely locked. This is a landlocked well, sea. The well, North we sea have is open locked. borders, and I think you can move your ships through my cities. Yeah, but there's no there's no water. Are you, do you see under Huaylas? Um. Yes. Yeah. Go with your ship next to it. Okay. We'll probably take a few turns. Hmm. Can I get over there, please? I want to go! What are you guys going to do now? I know what you're going to do. You're going to go there. Make a mine. Working on some whales right now. Feels pretty good. Not gonna lie. Getting them work boats out. Mm hmm. Well, I bought it because it was from the new city and it was gonna take forever. I don't want that Fair happiness enough. now. I think it's worth it. Well, either it's worth it or it's Maybelline. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Still, so many antiquity sites. 
this particular spot here where these uh these current Celtic settlers are or my settlers is basically the exact same spot where I'm planning about putting my city is the exact same spot where that that um barbarian encampment just kept popping up and becoming such a grievance there we go then so what was that Brandenburg gate be uh that would be me getting another wonder for a change. Well, good job. Hmm. Huh. I actually have room. Yeah, I don't have any room in my museums anymore. I'm gonna need museum really fast. Because I have archaeologists out and no place to put anything. <laughs> oh, God. This is, uh... Where did... Oh, right! That's true. Yeah. I totally forgot that Brandenburg Gate also gives you a general. Quite nice. Oh, yes. No, so... it does. Absolutely. Plus, doesn't it actually give you better uh, units, too, when you spawn units in that city? Yeah, you get 15 extra... Experience. Uh, ex uh, experience from any unit built in that city. Which is some kind of ridiculous. That's useful. I'm gonna go try and convert the Mayans. You know, they're not attacking me yet, so I'm gonna give them a reason to. Um. <laughs> oh, it'll happen. You can count on it when you start converting them. Then again, Arabia hasn't... Yeah, okay, it's multiplayer, so they... Don't pop up to scold you for doing stuff to them. So that's at least a positive thing that you don't get. Like, hey, um, why were you converting me? Stop that. I'm like, yeah. Right now, we don't even care about that. No. The barbarian encampment has been discovered. Seriously? Wow. Hmm. Oh, we love the new. We want truffles. That's something else I should be doing. I should be doing more trading. Clearing the forest has earned me 20 more production for Dublin. Your city becomes religious. Yay! More money. Look at that. There it is. Ephesus is now mine. How good is this right now? Five followers, 45 pressure. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go to Bogota then. Let's convert Bogota. Bogotiddle. Alright, so here I am. I'm next to your uh, Andalajula Adres. Yeah. Can't you see on the other side of the city? Yeah, but how do I get over there? Oh, um, I can go can through your city. <gasps> yeah. What? What? Well Welcome to the Panama Canal. <laughs> that is what? Okay. Yeah, just just go through it. Do you see, now you see the next city. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I do. <laughs> that is this amazing. Is, this is the only way of ever getting through that uh, from that North Ocean to the rest of the ocean in the world. If you're in the North the Ocean, way. you're done, unless, of course, you get passage through where you are. And, yeah, wow, that is fantastic. That that, that makes me smile. I have never yeah. seen that before. Uh, it's, I, I'll be honest, I've never had a situation like this happen either before in my almost 900 hours of playing this game. That That there's a location where two cities can be placed perfectly together, to form such a canal. I mean, I, I've built plenty of cities on a one-tile connection between two oceans, but like this, I've not done it yet. That is stupendously fantastic. I know. Anyway, it is about that time again. All right. Well, indeed, everybody watching this on YouTube, if there's anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like. And subscribe to either my channel or Tokriva's channel, and best bets, subscribe to both. 
That would be amazing if you want to see what ends up happening to both of us, both of our civilizations. And we hope to see you again later. Yeah, uh, that's about all that I would say as well. Perfect. All right, then. We'll see everybody later. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Wherever you are in the world, this is Barrera Stone and Ducky. Signing out.